since I've talked about one of the worst episodes from Hey Arnold about a month ago, it's worth discussing one of the best episodes from Hey Arnold, Arnold's Christmas, which, out of all the specials and episodes that I've talked about this month, this is definitely the best out of all of them. Though this also includes a character that has the same character traits as Cindy from Jimmy Neutron and Ryan from The Loud Tales. The only difference is, is that she came out before those characters, but oh boy, I'll get to her when I get to her. When Arnold is being paired up with Mr. Wayne during their annual secret Santa draw, Mr. Wayne tells Arnold about his history with her, with her, with his daughter that she hasn't met in over 20 years after deciding to hand her away to the military for protection during the war. So Arnold and Gerald go to Mr. Bailey to find the missing daughter, but they're gonna but they're gonna have to do his Christmas list by getting the gifts on the list. And unfortunately, the last thing that they're searching for, they couldn't be able to find it in stores. Of all the episodes in special centering around Christmas that I talked about this month, not, not including Billy and Mandy saving Christmas, which is the best out of all of them. This really gave me the impression that this is what Christmas is really all about when it comes to the down-to-earth elements. And to tell you the truth, after experiencing this episode from Hey Arnold, it gave me appreciation of what this show is really capable of, especially for an episode that came out before I was born. Well, this isn't the first time I looked at a plot centering around Christmas where a grown character is missing the importance of that daughter or family, which Mr. Grouse from the Christmas episode of The Loud House is similar to this. Well, it had nothing to do with the war, but still similar. I really felt like that the execution in this episode is an indication that the characters in this show is something that I really missed out on. Believe me. I really felt like that whenever I see these characters go through these scenarios, since that they're a lot more different from each other, it really shows that this was before the Loud House and the Cross Gante showcase the people from different countries or whatever you call it to capitalize on their likability and what they're struggling with. Granted, it may be debatable on what you think about which show has done better when it comes to Hey Arnold or The Loud House. And for someone who only watched two episodes from Hey Arnold as of now, it made me convinced that Hey Arnold is really capable of handling family situations and down-to-earth elements a lot more better, which is really saying something considering that Mr. Wayne, who had to give up his daughter while trying to, while not being able to be in the Christmas spirit, really shows that the Christmas spirit aspect in this episode is really on point. But considering that Arnold and his friend can't be able to find the boots, which are really difficult to find in stores, which leads to them giving up on helping Mr. Wayne to celebrate Christmas with the, the rest of the family, it's really the relatability that made me appreciate to where these characters are coming from. Granted, in later Christmas episodes that I've talked about over the years, there's too much relatability on trying to find the perfect gift while making sure you'll be able to find that gift before anyone else. But when it comes to this episode, Sandals, especially back in 1996, they really knew how to handle the scenario of the characters dealing with these problems, all the while giving up at the end. Speaking of people giving up, Helga is definitely the opposite. Because I've always heard from people that she has a crush towards Arnold, and yet at the same time, he she messes with Arnold and... Whenever I think about Cindy and Wani Ann, despite the fact that Helga is a character that was made way before Cindy and Wani Ann when it comes to exposing the character in front of an audience. I'm not going to be judgmental, but at the same time, despite what she did by helping up Arnold's situation, 
it's still gonna be difficult for me to find any qualities in Hokuto, while in characters like Cindy and Wang Yan, it was honestly a roller coaster, but at the same time, still a mixed bag. Look, I think that Helga in this episode, for the more that she did towards the end, is good, but at the same time, when it comes to her not taking more seriously, it was a lot more difficult to take her character seriously, because in comparison to Cindy, I at least can tolerate her for the very least, and when it comes to her messing with Jimmy, it was somewhat accurate considering that Jimmy just always up one up against her, and when it comes to Wang Yan with her interactions with Lincoln, I'm gonna be really truthful, it's difficult to pick a lower tier, but all I can say is, is that Wang Yan really had much more of a better execution despite the fact that she turned into a female version of Lincoln in her spinoff. Helga in this episode, despite with the good deeds, the other side, which is her bad deeds, I'm gonna probably have a difficult time enjoying her if I'm ever gonna have the chance to binge watch this show for the first time. And when it comes to me talking about a Valentine's Day episodes that might center around her and Arnold, keep in mind I don't know if I'm going to review the episode. Because as far as I'm concerned, this episode is honestly more than enough for me to understand Helga's character, despite not seeing a lot of her development. But still, the ending, well, Mr. Lane meets his, his daughter for such a long time, who is mad by the way, is really wholesome, that really makes up everything when it comes to the negatives. Then again, that's mainly me just looking into the other characters, rather than the character that I had a lot to discuss. So, this is one of my favorite Hey Arnold episodes so far before when I, get the, when I get the chance to binge watch this show, and this is one of the better Christmas specials that I witness for this month, which isn't saying much. For me personally, I really felt like that this episode just really gave me the understanding of what Hey Arnold does when it comes to its fan base, and knowing how to handle the world building and down to earth elements a lot more. Then again, what Loud House did was a completely different story, but at the same time, I'm mostly new to most of the old cartoons that I used to watch, but just before the other cartoons that I remember way more than Hey Arnold, but stuff happens and people just have different points of views on cartoons. I'm giving this episode an 8.5 out of 10, and there was one more Christmas video that we're, that we're gonna wrap up before Christmas. And it's gonna come out on Christmas Eve, and since Sunday is a Loud House video day, or whatever you call it, you pretty much know what video it is. But at the same time, it's the unexpected that you need to be expected.